There's a starfish on the beach. Over here we got waves crashing pretty hard. We we're gonna put him in a place where maybe he won't get flipped so easy. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe on the other side. You could barely move a little bit. Well, maybe you should bring him up and uh, we can put him by that ramp down there where the water's a little deeper. All right, we're gonna see if we can find a more calm and deeper place to put him. When he's got the starfish here, I would probably do it down here where there's deeper water and it's not gonna get like kicked up and down too hard. Might have to wait out a little bit. Where he was a minute ago, I don't think he could have gotten out. All right, so we brought him into the shallow water. We tried to put him in a couple of times and he keeps getting taken by the waves. So we think he's still alive. He's still kind of there. He's moving a little bit. So go in right there, wait out a little bit. Probably just gonna have to dive in. All right. Wendy feels like he's in a safer spot. We had a huge storm. It washed just about everything up. How you feel? I was planning on taking a swim this morning. <laughs> and the name is Save the Starfish. He better live. Yeah, I hope he does. I felt him move his, his little um, healer thingies on my hand, and so I know that he wasn't dead. We were told by a local that yeah, to take him home, put him on the wall, and I said, no. I would feel no joy <laughs> in looking at him on my wall. But. Well, we waited for him to walk away, and then we continued our rescue mission. We put him back in and he's like, no, he's hard, he, he's hard. He's, he's not hard though, he was smushy. I felt a dead one before. A dead one is hard as a rock. But this one still, I mean, if it's- When we put him in a tiny pulse. little pool, he uh, he was flexible and then he started moving under my hand. So, but Wendy took the sacrifice and swam him out. Was the water warm? It really wasn't that bad. Normally, I would never get in that cold of water. I don't even like get in the ocean this time of day, period. You can't make Well, it's like winter storm here. It's 65 degrees. I know. We're getting the very southern part of uh, this winter storm that's coming to the United States right now that everybody's talking about snow and ice and school shutdowns. We have a really small part of that here. It's whipping around and touching us. It made big waves. Well, the guy here that was just talking to us said it, out of all the north storms that have come, even the one that took our boat into the uh, museum, that one yesterday or the day before was the strongest he's ever seen. And I posted a little bit of footage of the ferry boat being tossed. There's some other footage, man. It looks like a straight up hurricane. It felt like a hurricane on our house. Our palm trees were whipping like a mad. The, the water was like slamming against all the windows, like not from one direction. So we survived North Day number 34. Saturday and it's raining outside. We don't get to do anything today, I don't think. Raining on a Saturday. It's horrible. Why not for Brighton though? Because Brighton, if I think, oh yeah, I can play the Wii all day. The Wii just, I don't get it. I like to play it sometimes, whenever we're allowed to. I like Tetris. Tetris is my favorite video game. It's the only one that me and mom like. I like Tetris because Tetris just doesn't feel like Mario. I love Tetris, but Brighton doesn't. It likes other video games. Mario, let's see, Mario Kart 8, 
He wants Mario Odyssey, and he wants Mario Party 10, which I don't even know what is. He wants Mario Monopoly, but I kind of want that too because I like the game. He has a Mario watch. He has a remote controlled Mario toy. Mario's not my thing. I like to play Mario sometimes like against Brighton because Brighton's really good and I like to practice a little so that whenever my dad wants to play, we can play. And I do like playing it, but it's not like my favorite thing to ever do. So gas stations they have monster energy drink two for 50 pesos and that's about a dollar 40 a piece which they're normally about two dollars a piece here we're gonna go hit up all the different ones and see how many i can get all right we're on our oxo hunt we hit one oxo already we got four regular with sugar we call them leaded we call them unleaded without sugar i'm looking for unleaded and i mostly drink them in the morning right when i wake up it's like a little extra kickstart for my intermittent fasting because I go from wake up to two o'clock with no eating, two to eight is my window to eat. I'm looking for uh, looking for as many as I can get here at this discount price of 40 cents a can. All right, we're on our third OXO. No shoes, no shirt, no problem in Mexico. See, the first one we got four, second one we got 10 monsters, and we're gonna see how many we can get here. Yeah, we're gonna clean them out of here. You think that's too much? Does your dad drink monster? Yep. <gasps> we're gonna be great friends. All right, we're in another OXO. We're looking for more monster. Not we. Oh yeah, come to daddy, two for 50 pesos. I love this deal, it's going off tomorrow, so I gotta stock up. We've got the Rocky Four soundtrack going. The pull up bar is up. Time to do some lat and ab workouts. Then we're gonna follow up with some incline push ups, and we're gonna do some abs. We hit the Oxos and we got 28 Monster Energy Drinks. Collect all four. We got the Punch Monster, Blue Monster, and we have the Chaos Morning Juice. And we have the Lewis Hamilton. And we have the Classic White Monster without sugar. We have the Original Monster. Oh, and the Lewis Hamilton goes down. She's dented, but she's still intact. And we have a low carb blue with ginseng. But it's the we hit some more oxos last night. We got more monster, 40 cents discount per can. Gotta rack up, otherwise, just be paying more in the future.